Hi everyone, it's Donna from Space Man Papercraft and I'm back with another card tutorial today. I'm going to show you how to make a shadow box card. Now I've been looking for a relatively simple tutorial for this for um, a little while and I've seen a few and um, yeah they're okay um, but this the one that I'm going to show you now I found on YouTube from a fellow YouTuber called Tina Zink. I'll leave the link to her video showing you how to do this in the info bar below and hers was the simplest method I found to make a shadow box. Now this ends up being six by six okay so you can either um, put this on a six by six card base or you could make a small um, card base and have it standing up like a frame you could do that um, I just did this one and just coloured in some little stamps that I've got there and just because um, I wanted to highlight this paper here so it is a really really um, simple I've got um, templates to show you for each process so what it should look like as you're going along but I'm going to try and make it as simple um, and explain it as well as I possibly can okay so first thing we need to do is get our scoreboard and you're going to start with a 12 by 12 um, sheet of cardstock or paper um, double sided is probably best like this because then you know one side becomes the center and the other side becomes the frame so um, so yeah so what you want to do first is put it in your scoreboard it doesn't matter what way you put it in because all four sides are going to be the same so you're going to score in four places on all four sides okay so your first score line your first score is going to be at one inch all the way down then one and a half all the way down then two and a half all the way down and three okay so we're going to turn once and do exactly the same so we're going to score at one inch one and a half two and a half and three rotate it once more and then we're going to score again at one one and a half two and a half and three and then rotate it and on the last side we're going to do exactly the same at one one and a half two and a half and three now if your paper has a direction um, I don't really think this does so if your paper has a direction you want to put it back in the scoreboard at the top okay and you'll see let me try and um, show you you'll see you've got your score lines here one two three and four okay you're going to put this in at the top and you're going to score at four down to the second line okay so if I do that score and then bring it back up to show you so you score at four inches just to that second cross score line okay and then you do exactly the same at eight inches down to the second score now if this is your top you need to do exactly the same on the opposite end which would be your bottom so take the bottom and flip it all the way around and do exactly the same four inches down to that second score line and eight inches to the second score line okay so if I move my scoreboard out of the way I will bring in the template of what it should look like I've drawn this out for you so it's easier for you to see 
so these are our four score marks on all sides which is our one one and a half two and a half and three and then these are the marks on our top and bottom so this would be the four inch down to the second score line and the eight down to the second and then you would turn it upside down and do exactly the same four down to the second score line and eight down to the second score line now we're going to do some cutting and once you've done the cutting it is really simple to put together okay i haven't folded anything yet because i want to do the cutting first so we're going to cut the four corners off and what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you on the template and then i'll cut mine off camera so you can see what i'm doing so these corners here where all the core all the score lines cross we're going to remove okay so if i get my pen and mark we're going to remove all of this section okay we're going to move, remove the corners on all four sides so we're just going to cut up the score line and then we're going to cut that corner off then we're going to do exactly the same on the other sides and then we're going to cut this last corner off as well okay so at this stage it looks like this so we've cut off our corners where the score lines cross over so all four corners are gone now we need to cut where we did our four and our eight so we're actually going to cut those off and again cut down to the second score line at the eight and cut that off okay and then we're going to do it exactly the same way on this side so i'm cutting on this template so you can see um it will be easy for you to see where to cut okay so at this point this is what we have okay now we need to do four more little cuts okay so if i get my sharpie and show you we're going to cut from here diagonally to here and again here diagonally to here so we're just in effect cutting that point off I should be doing this with a ruler really but I'll just quickly mark it so you can see where we're going to cut so those lines so those lines here that I've just made are going to be cut off okay so you're just going to snip those off like that and then you're going to do exactly the same on your opposite side and that is all your cutting done and then all we need to do is put it together so what I'm going to do is I am going to go over to the piece that I've scored and I'm going to um, get to this stage on the piece that I've done at the beginning and then I'll be right back okay so I've now cut my piece um, to the same stage we are with the template okay so now with your 
patterned piece you need to decide which piece you want what pattern you want in the middle and what pattern you want on the edges and I actually think I want the roses on the edges so I'm going to flip this over and you might be able to see my score marks a bit better there actually so I'm going to have this section this pattern in the middle and then the roses are going to be on the outside okay so now all we need to do is fold along all our score lines now once the score lines are all folded it is just a simple case um, of gluing so all the hard part is done the scoring and the cutting is done and this is one of the or probably the simplest um, tutorial that I found online to make a shadow box okay so we're going to leave the tops and the bottom for for now we're going to do the sides first so obviously the tops the top and the bottom are the ones with the diagonal cuts okay so what we're going to do is on this very first fold here is where we're going to put our glue now you can use wet glue um you can use double-sided tape whatever works for you okay now we're going to fold this all the way round on itself. Okay. And stick it down. Now you can fold it down and fold it the other way to stick it. Okay. Then we're going to do the same on the opposite side. So on this first section is where we're going to put our adhesive so we're just going to roll those folds over so that first bit where we put the adhesive is straight down and then we can push it forward and push it backwards and that just reinforces those side um, creases as well okay so now we're going to do exactly the same thing with the top and the bottom so on our first piece goes the adhesive and then we fold that all the way in on itself and again we'll just press that down Oh, that's not sticking for some reason <laughs> you can at this point because this folds you can push your bone folder in and help it along okay and then we're going to do exactly the same on the bottom section and we're just going to fold that over and push it down into place so again these sides are still going to fold so you can press in on your bone folder and get that stuck down really well and then the only thing left to do is just to glue along these little corners here to secure these little diagonals to the actual frame so you just put a little bit of glue in and you just hold it until it 
sticks and it will just hold its frame. Just hold that for a minute and then we're going to do exactly the same over here. Bit of adhesive and then push it together so it will stick and hold its shape. to hold this one for another minute or so but this that i mean it is just as simple as that once you've got those folds the scores rather and the cuts it is really really simple because all the sides go the same way you put adhesive on the first flap and you sort of roll it in on itself so that adhesive then sticks to the inside and that is your shadow box and that's it done and I think this was, as I say, the easiest tutorial that I found um, to make one of these. And what I'll do is I'll just zoom in and just show you the corners and things, how it all meets really well. So as I said earlier, you can, in theory now, you can pop this onto a 6x6 card base or you could get some coordinating um, cardstock. Let me just grab a piece here. This is probably going to be too big, but this is just some scrap that I've just got. So you can just take a strip like this. I mean, I think this is probably, yeah, this is 12. So I've scored this at six. So this is 12 by, I think it's probably about three inches. So you could do something like that and have that, you know, as a frame at the back and then you could write on it. Or as I say, you could mount it onto a six by six card base. So there we go. So there are um, quick, I think it's a quick and relatively simple um, shadow box. So I hope I've explained it well. I, um, so I hope the template helped you um, and it's always a good idea to keep this um, you know you could you could fold it down and, and put it in a drawer somewhere or a folder or something or just label it and say what it is and then it's always you've always got your template you can write the measurements on there so you could um, I don't know if I keep this as my template score it um, what do we say one one and a half two and a half and three and then you would put um i don't know top and bottom score to second line at four and eight and then you could just keep that and then you've got all your instructions there so it's handy just to you know, you can just fold up your template, pop it in a drawer somewhere, and you're good to go. So I hope you found this tutorial really helpful, and I really hope you give it a go. If you do decide to give it a go, I'd love to see what you're making. Um, you can, of course, come and join our Facebook group, which is called Little Spaceman Show and Tell. I'll leave the link for that in there. If you just request to be added, um, either myself or, or one of my lovely admin will add you and um, yeah we'd love to see what you make you can also share video links that you've made blog links um, your pictures you know it's just a place where we can all share our creativity it doesn't have to be cards it can just be anything craft related um, that you want to share it's great if you need tips on certain things you can just pop in and ask anyone if they know anything or if they can help you and it is a really sweet little group it's it's still in its infancy I think we're just over 100 members but I really want to build it up and, and have it as a good um, resource for anybody that you know is um, into crafting and things so yeah so please feel free to join the facebook group if you so choose to and um yeah thanks again tina zinc for your tutorial i'm going to leave her video in the description bar below along with my email and anything else that you might need so again i really hope you give it a go and um i will be back very very soon thanks a lot bye for now